guys, what's up? How's it going? Uh, I'm Enrique and this is Easy Pictures to Draw. Uh, I'm today I'm going to be going over how to draw uh, a wolf uh, smiling, kind of different expressions. I'm going to make different playlists for different animals. <coughs> and that's kind of the plan we're going to you know, kind of go with, hopefully. Um, first of all, I'm going to type of the marker we have, and I'm also going to be talking about the product that we sell. We sell this product called the Armadillo. It is a kind of a pencil case. You can actually stick a marker here at the very end. There's one big big one here for fat markers, and most of these are for pens and things of that sort. And what you can do is you can actually put it on your wrist if you want. You can wear it on your wrist, or you can uh, actually strap it to a sketchbook like so. I'm just going to wrap it around any sketchbook you can and keep it on the side. I use this thing constantly. Uh, it's been kind of something I've been using on my own, and I decided to end up selling it. Uh, we've been selling it for four years, and our Kickstarter went through and everything, and so that's pretty much it. Check that out. I'm not going to put a link in the description for this. Uh, I just don't put as many links in the description anymore. So it's going to be arm-adillo.com. I will put it on the screen, though, so you can see it, arm-adillo.com. Do it in another screen, guys. Um, but let's start. Get, let's get into the actual painting. The, sorry, the marker drawing. And this is going to be with a Faber... Castell P-I-T-T -T, artist pen big brush Whew. excuse me I yawned there this is a favorite Castell P-I-T-T -T, art brush uh, the reason I like this it's similar to a sharpie but it doesn't have such a horrible toxic nasty smell that fills the air so that's why I like it mm. so let's get into the actual wolf head it's just gonna be the head kinda like a portrait vignette First thing I do is I'm going to draw the eye. It's going to be almost that triangular shape. Eyeball. Like, I'm sorry, that's the eyeball. And then that's going to be the outer portion of the iris. Then I am going to draw the other eye, the far eye. It's going to be a little bit smaller because it's angled away. It's on the far side. Outer edge of the iris. And then you got the pupil there. We're going to draw outward from that eye, straight line for the snout. Pulling downward in front of the snout. Lower portion of the snout. Underneath that kind of snout area. And into the face. Draw the front of the nose, pulling inward, nostril, pulling into the rest of the face to form that front of that nose. And then I'm going to draw a thin line right here. I'm going to make it as thin as I possibly can with this marker to show that edge there. Then I'm going to draw the actual smile. I'm going to start with this. I'm going to go to the far side of the face. It's going to be a little bit furry. Top part of the ear, top part of the face, other side of the ear, far side ear, a 
Gonna draw kind of like a little, like a brow. Kind of like eyebrows. Pulling in. Far side ear. If you want, you can throw some hair over here on this side. Inner ear. Top portion of that brow. Right here for the top of the head. Just pulling inward. Random kind of shapes on the inside for kind of furriness going into the ear. He's kind of doing some random um, larger furry shapes for the outer portion of the fur on the neck. Pulling in right here. Trying to make those shapes whimsical. Kind of like commas, a bunch of commas connected to each other. And thinner ones in here. So then I'm going to do the far side of the face over here. Pulling in. You can do the inner ear on the far side, and you can do the inner ear over here as well. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go. I was gonna do the contour, but I won't. Dots on the face. If you want, you can throw the whiskers that they have, but you don't. You don't need to. Oops. And then I'm gonna throw. I am gonna throw something a contour. I'm gonna make it thicker all around. So this is just a smile, essentially. I guess my idea would be to make playlists for as many animals as I can doing different things. And so this is just kind of like a start of me experimenting with that idea. If you guys like this teaching style, please uh, like the video. It uh, really helps me out. And... Very helpful. It helps me out because I know what to what to do and what to teach. You know what I mean? Like how to teach. Do you like this direct step by step by step by step thing, or do you do you prefer the you know I, I go over explaining like the innards of it, or do you want this line line per line? Um, everything you tell me will be used uh, for feedback, and it will help me out. So please let me know that. Uh, it's a little bit harder, I understand, on the snout area because sometimes people will draw like a human smile and that's pretty much what I'm doing because a lot of them don't really smile like that uh, remember to the thick to thin line thing the outer lines to, that tend to contain thinner shapes on the inside but that's just a, a general idea it's not always that and let me understand what I'm talking about so if you have like for example let's see that shape You have that shape as well. And let's say the connect. Hopefully that's big enough for you to see. Let me see. Um, you know, generally that's okay. If you were to make that outer bold, outer line bolder, just the contour. For whatever reason, sometimes it has this cool look on the inside. It will make the inside look. You know what I mean? It'll look, make it look much better if you do that. Um, and, and again, it's a stylistic thing. It, it will kind of make it look like a different kind of art. It'll make it look more graffiti-like. But it's pretty cool, and I like it. Uh, a lot of people I know really prefer it. So really think about that. And uh, if you do, please let me know. Like if you like the kind of like the contour thing, it's just a tip to use in your ar arsenal. Uh, check out the videos below. I'm gonna play put other playlists that kind of relate to this. And if you want to learn more about drawing, please check those out. Uh, I really encourage you to. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't. I'm going to be adding new stuff. Uh, probably 
It's probably going to be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's kind of what I'm leaning on. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you next time.